What is up guys, Carter Wilson back at you with another video and I know it's been a minute since I last posted but uh, some things have happened. I got me a truck, more videos on it to come. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's coming with it. Just a little sneak peek, wheels, tires, there you go, you get the concept. But uh, that's what's coming on that. I'll do a video separate. But uh, today's video is mainly on the dirt bike I got. It's a uh, 2004 uh, CRF 250X. Um, it's electric start, all that stuff. But uh, I'll go get it real quick and bring it around front and then I'll give you a little walk around. Of Uh, well, this is it. It's an 04 CRF 250X. It's not the R. It's got electric start. Um, it's a pretty clean bike. It's got a 270 big board kit. The whole motor's been rebuilt. Uh, I, but um, don't mind any of the plastics right now. They're a little rough. Don't mind the pink duct tape. Uh, all that's going to get changed. That's a little hint on what's coming. This whole bike's going to get transformed. Um, I'll keep you updated on when stuff's coming in. Uh, we'll give you a hint, the number plate come in. I ordered plastics, a whole new plastics for it. Seat cover's gonna stay the same for right now. And I'm doing a little something special up front. See, it's got the old four look, a little hint right there. But uh, stay tuned for uh, what's coming next. Um, but uh, hope you guys like it. All right, well the first package come in, I'm gonna open it up, show you what it is. I'll do an update on all the packages that come in. All right, so I went with the Cycra front number plate. So that's one of the parts. Let you know whenever everything else comes in. All right, guys, got the next part in. Uh, I'll open it up real quick. Um, number plate's back there. This has to go with the number plate, so comes with stickers so uh you might already recognize prime it's not a sponsor or anything but uh i'll put their their stuff down in the description they sell restyle kits for four wheel or, or dirt bikes prime they send restyle kits that allows you to adapt your front end to a newer style bike so i got an 04 so it's going to make it look like a 2017 to 2019 i guess but uh they give you stickers like i showed and then they write you, this is pretty cool, they write you a little note. Hey, Wesley, thanks for your, actually, I can't read it backwards, but uh, thanks for your order. Enjoy the new look on your CRF. Don't mind my dirty hands, but uh, Cam said that, so thank you. All right, now let's get into this actual restyle kit itself. How does this work? Restyle kit comes with your mount that mounts to your original bolt hole right there in the middle. And it has the hardware on the side that mounts your number plate. And that's how that works. Because I've seen some people, they just want to put what's this. It's clear strips for something. And then this is what makes it cool. They give you a template. It's made out of metal so you can use it. It used to be paper. But uh, it's got these little things. You put those in your original holes. And then you drill out, drill out. You drill out all the four holes. Fucking mosquito. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Drill out these four holes, and that's what makes your front fender fit. And line up and everything like that. They sell all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But uh, right now, I'm working on another video. It's on the truck. So uh, here in a little bit, we're going to get some of the, well, this video. Uh, you should have seen the wheels and tires. We're going to go pick up the wheels and tires. And because I got them mounted. So there we go. So here's the number plate, took it back out of the package. I'm gonna see if all the holes line up, basically make sure I'm not just gonna waste my time whenever I take this thing apart. The stadium number plate. So, there it is. Make sure this fits. Of course, I done put everything back in the package, but uh, right, well that took longer than expected, but uh, see, you got your mount here. It mounts, mounts there, it goes underneath and then it mounts to the bike in the middle with the little extra bolt in there and washer. So there's the number plate. 
front fender should be coming in tomorrow so we'll just go ahead and start the uh front end restyle tomorrow okay so we got the next part in went with a black fender the whole thing with the bike back's gonna be black beside the front beside the front number plate and the uh, front fender uh so the grips just come in um y'all gonna be like why would i go with that color but i like this color like it just looks good in my opinion went with some gray grips it's gonna look so good Alrighty guys, so all the parts are in. I'm fixing to set you up on a time lapse. So um, I ended up going with all black plastics and then you'll just see the front whenever it's done. But there's the fender. You might already know what I'm going with. Don't mind the other shot. So this is the bike complete but it's not really complete i still have one more bolt to fix down here this is the front end complete you ended up having to drill holes with that plastic kit because here's the originals and then you drill your holes that they give you with the adapter plate my mount up top didn't end up working but this thing is actually on there it pulls back just a little bit and then this also helps it goes down and connects down in there <clears throat> so that helps hold it on might take a zip tie and like zip tie here to here and probably like here to that one right there maybe but this side is tight this side's tight this side's a little loose but other than that that's the front end i said i went with all the black plastics probably gonna order a seat cover for it we went with all black plastics fixing to do a wash on it so i'm gonna get a time lapse of that because I didn't even wash it before I put all these on, so. And then I, here's the gray grips. They look good in my opinion. I ended up taking off the bark busters. Thinking about painting the wheels black, keeping the red spokes, but painting them black, I feel like that'd look better. But uh, here it is. looks better it's still wet so it's gonna make it look a little bit better but uh all i did was put some mcguire's aluminum cleaner on there and some purple power and it gets it clean pretty good especially the wheels now that they're clean i might not paint them but it would look better painted but there's some nice wheels need to change out the tires but uh especially this front one there's the bike hope you guys enjoyed the build make sure to like comment and subscribe